It rains moths as moonlight falls, a good sucker rises and out loud it calls. As the sun sets below the horizon and the world that we know of falls asleep, a new one emerges. In this new world, the nocturnal world, lives a small mysterious creature evolved to conquer the challenges of the night. Nightjar is known to be a master of disguise. Its cryptic coloration gives it the ability to hide in plain sight. Because these birds were seldom seen, for centuries people around the world held several misconceptions about them. Years ago, it was believed that nightjars drank milk directly from the goat's udders using their tiny bill and large mouths, hence the name goat suckers. So how did this myth begin? Night jars are insectivorous and livestock attract insects. So whenever a night jar was seen, it was found near livestock. The effects of this superstition led to the scientific naming of the order Caprimulgiformes or goat milker in Latin to which night jars belong. Today, we know that their large mouths are perfectly suited for capturing large insects like moths and beetles in flight in the darkness. As these birds are ground dwellers, they use clear grounds to look for flying insects. And what is better than a wide road that cuts through all the vegetation? Night jars have adapted to use roads as feeding grounds. However, this adaptation comes with a heavy cost. The bright lights of fast-moving vehicles often stun night jars as sitting on the road and end up taking their lives. Along with roads, night jars also feed on pests in clear agricultural fields and assist our farmers by controlling pests naturally. Can you imagine a world without insectivorous birds? Not a pleasant one, is it? This insectivorous behavior of night jars provides us a very valuable service as they help keep the population of pests in check. Additionally, these birds provide nourishment for species that predate on them such as owls and even the Bengal tiger. But unfortunately, today, Nightjars face threats due to the growing use of pesticides and increasing vehicular traffic. And hence, there is a need to conserve them. But how do you conserve a creature you can't see? Species that do not like to show themselves do know how to make themselves heard. In order to understand these night ravens, it is important to study their calls and an effort was made to understand how their vocalization changes with the environment. With darkness, the night brings challenges of its own. In the absence of the sun, all nocturnal activities are governed by the moon. And in order to survive, the night jar must adjust to its varying phases. A full moon lifts the veil of darkness from the night. The illumination is enough for the night jar to begin its nightly activities. However, it must do so with caution as predators are on the lookout. As the full moon rises, the night grows louder. For a bird that camouflages extremely well with the surroundings, its song helps it to stand out from the crowd. With the other birds already tucked in, the Indian nightjar has managed to find itself a unique niche for singing a mechanical song which sounds akin to a ping pong ball dropping on the floor. It uses another type of call to make contact and communicate with its partner. And another one as it participates in short flights. Each call has a specific purpose and can be used to understand its relationship with the environment. 
Another species of nightjar, the savanna nightjar, perches on a high tree top and calls out for its mate. It spends the whole year in silence and begins calling only when the year approaches its breeding season. Likewise, the jungle nightjar also awakens and uses its unique call to communicate within the shallow forest edges by making its presence known. The changing hours of the night bring with them a change in the surrounding temperature. Moonlight is not sufficient for nightjars to be active. They also need warmth. And so, as the temperature drops low, the night grows quieter. To take shelter from the cold, nightjars find warmth in thick shrubs and in shallow depressions created in mud and gravel. Fortunately, for this nightjar, the cold night is about to come to an end. As the night approaches dawn, the sun brings with it warmth and light. Nightjars grow impatient and begin singing louder again as they feed and communicate. However, the growing light of the sun is too fierce for the large sensitive eyes and the sunshine nightjars must take cover soon. The illumination grows and fills the day with chirps, tweets and whistles as the sound of the night fades away. As I watch this nightjar put on its cloak of invisibility, I stand in wonderment of these birds and the nightly orchestra that had filled me with nothing but awe.